Good day, Mr. Finley. Good day, Miss Miller. Rooster! Rooster! You out, boy? Got him, Mr. Finley. Morning, Mrs. Baker. Mr. Perryfield. I am sorry I'm a little late. It's about time. I was about to go inside. There's a storm coming and my hip's killing me. Sorry to hear that, sir. Now, you don't think I'm gonna sit around all day waiting for you when the cold comes, do you? No, sir. Be careful of that top step there. It gives a little. Here goes. Uh, uh, yuck. Look at that. Hey, good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Finley. Uh, good morning, Sheila. Beautiful day, isn't it? It sure is. How's Jimmy? He's doing real good. Well, good. You take care now, huh? All right, you too. About this Brady McDaniels, he's already missed several days this month. I can't keep covering him. Hey, hey, Mr. Mullins, go look up the word fragile. Uh, Les, when did I become less? Sorry, uh, Lester, uh, Mr. Stevens. Boss, the guy's a screw-up. It's like he's asking to get canned. How many days this month? Hey, hey, Kathy, congratulations, girl. Thanks, Mr. S. Four. Four, that's not so bad. Uh, it's only the 12th? Look, Carl. I, I just think there's something there worth saving. Okay. I thought you were gone already. I need someone good, Lester. This has been my route for 10 years. I've been voted best postal carrier seven years and counting. I know, Walter, but it's slim pickings right now. What about that new kid, Trevor? Oh, he's slow as mud through a straw. Kay. Kay's got a month left on maternity leave. And before you ask, Pete just got his knee scoped. Look, Walter, it's your time now. You've always wanted an extended leave. You've earned it. Go, enjoy. I'll find the right fit. Promise.
But there are a few things you should know. 237, the old man, Cornelius Perryfield, checks the box every day at the same time. Goodbye, Walter. It's one trip out, and if the mail's not there, he'll call and complain. And the baker's dog, 231. He'll take a chunk out of you if you don't go now. All right. One more thing. Oh, Lord have mercy. Take a look at these. Two, four, four, Laurel Lane. Can't just shred them, but they keep coming. It's like finding a kitten on your back porch. You can't just walk away. I'll take care of him, Walter. Go on home. Staying in town, so call me if you need anything. Get a life, Finley. No. Get a wife. For mom. Yeah, I'm lucky for that. Gosh, I just wanted to make a nice meal for my kids before I went back to work, and Sweetheart, I. Sweetheart, you've got enough on your plate here. Let me have these. Come oh. on. Come on. Oh, mom, come listen, on. I really appreciate you dropping everything to come here, but it's not fair to put it all on you. I. Yeah, my schedule was so busy. Tea with the queen and all. Honey, that's what moms are for. Maddie, you need this job. I'll tell you when it gets to be too much. Ah, hot, hot. Mom, that's oh, hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mom, I gotta go. Thank you. I love you. Right back at you. Honey, was that meatloaf? I'm busy. Come back later. Busy, huh? Have you finished your homework? It's not due till Friday. And what's your excuse gonna be on Thursday? I don't know. I'll think of something. Nobody likes a smart aleck, Ben. And your room is a wreck. Clean it, please. Oh, and stay home while I'm gone so Grandma doesn't have to worry. Sure thing, Mom. Like I'm gonna ride my bicycle around town and just tear it up. Bed before 11. Help Grandma and check in on your brother, all right? Vogue. Wait, wait. I'm just about to yeah. score. Okay. Sometimes I think that gorgeous smile of yours is about the only thing that keeps me going. <sighs> you tired? A little. Stomach? Good to go. That's my boy. How about your mom? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I gotta go. Mwah. Listen, you can call me anytime. You know. Yeah, I know. And Grandma will be helping on the mats, okay? Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, you even know how much I love you. <laughs> I love you this much. <laughs> that isn't very much. Oh, but it is. Because my love for you starts here. It goes all the way around the world and ends up right back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, what's this? Ooh, so much I love you. Mm. <sighs> anyway. Grandma's doing something for dinner. I sort of messed it up. Really, you? Yeah, stop it. I'm not that hungry anyways. Oh, sweetie, please try to eat something. Okay, I just don't like to get sick when you're not home. I know. I gotta go. Mwah. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. I'll be here. Computers. It's the third time I've had to reboot this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Well, looky here, finally. <laughs> Glad to have you back. Oh, <laughs> sure is an improvement over some folks. <laughs> it's funny. It's just what I was thinking. Well, I can see things haven't changed around here. <laughs> How's Tyler? He's good. Yeah. You know, as good as a little boy can be after having brain surgery and 30 treatments of radiation. Mm -hmm. But he's home yeah. for now, so. So what does the doctor say? The same. Medulloblastoma is a rare and aggressive brain cancer. Don't get your hopes up. You know, like I can control that. <laughs> But you know what? The good news is my mom is staying for a while until things settle down. Oh, so. that's great. Yeah. Um, can you give me a report on my patients? Yeah, please? let me. Uh, okay. So Mrs. Riley is in 406. Okay. That little boy Matthew is in 402. And Mr. Samuels is back again uh -huh. in 410. Great. Mm -hmm. Uh, Grana? Mm-hmm? You sure you're okay with doing this? Oh, he's a cake. Your mom taught me how to do it. Um, are you sure you know how to do this, Grana? Cool it. You're making me nervous. <sighs> he's up here and he's busy. Now slow. Make sure you don't get an air bubble in my heart. Uh, yes, sir. Tyler? What's wrong? Tyler, Mom wants to talk to you. Ah! Oh! Tyler! Oh! Tyler! Ah! Tyler! Ah! Oh, for heaven's sake. It's really not funny. You're a jerk, man. Ben! I, I'm sorry, oh. Karina. Silly. <laughs> Maddie? Mom, is Tyler okay? Everything, everything's fine. Everything's okay. You don't have to come home. Uh, Mom, everything's fine here. Just stay at work. <laughs> right. Oh, fool me once. Oh. oh, Maddie, I've got to call you back. Okay, call me back. Hey, is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. Are you okay? No, this whole thing stinks. Well, I get that. You know, when I'm struggling with something, it really helps me to pray about it. Pray? Yeah. What are we supposed to pray for exactly? Uh, dear God, don't take Tyler. Get Dad. Isn't that it? Oh, Ben. Prayer is just telling God what's in your heart and asking him to help you with it. Well, maybe I don't want to tell God what's in my heart. I'm afraid to ask God to help Tyler. I mean, what if he doesn't? No, I, I can't. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear God, how many people are in heaven? Must be a lot. I know two, and I'm only eight. We are struggling, Lord. We're scared, and we need your guidance. I learned a new word today. Medjolobastoma or something. My mom says I'll be sick for a while, but it'll be okay. Why am I sick, God? The medicine stinks. But I don't have to take my spelling test this week, so that's good. Can you see the stars from heaven? My dad said you made them all. I'm really glad to be home from the hospital. But most of all, I really just wish my mom would laugh. I miss that the most. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
do I have to fill out a form or something? Spoken like a true government worker. Yeah. <sighs> so you having trouble quieting those demons tonight? You having trouble remembering you're just the bartender? Tell McDaniels, if you keep pushing people away. You say you're not my CO anymore. Jack, uh, Jimmy Buffett called. He wants his shirt back. Sam! It's about time. I've been waiting for an hour. My grandpa told me you were back. My mom wouldn't let me come over till later. I figured this was later. Are you better? I'm working on it. Let me look at you. You don't look so bad. I'm much better. I think I'm going back to school with Ben. <gasps> Thank goodness. If I had to eat lunch one more day with Ashley Turner, I'll just die. I mean, it's horrible. She, she smells like liverwurst. Ugh. <laughs> well, here. I got you this. Sweet. Thanks. Ben, get up. Quick, my mom's coming. <gasps> hey, Tabo, you're awake. Yep, I'm awake. Just sitting here, being awake. Hmm. Is that a new hat? You mean this thing? Uh-huh. Mom, so, uh, so I'm, I'm going back to school today, right? <sighs> you think you're up to it? I think so. I don't know. What do you think, Sam? <laughs> I think he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be stealth, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Miss Maddie. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm fine. My grandpa told me Tyler was back. Mm. How is your grandpa? He's good. Good. And grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good and grumpy then. <laughs> well, I guess if you're going to school, you ought to start getting ready. Yes! <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Front door, please. 
for sure, Miss Maddie. Thank you, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> see you on the bus, Ty. Oh, no. You know what? I've got to check him in, so he'll see you there later. Scoot! Oh, on a walking route? Yes, you know, one foot in front of the other, point A to point B, deliver the mail in between. Yeah, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather just keep working the line. I, I can't do a walking route. Oh, you can and you will. Uh, here's the keys. The truck is in 27 outside, loaded and ready. Here's your line of travel. <laughs> Follow the mail and you can't get lost. Nancy's got your uniform out back. You're already two hours behind, so I'd step on it. Yeah. You ready? Mom? Mm-hmm. Do you think the kids at school will make fun of me? Some will. Only because they don't know what else to say. What should I do if they do? Wait, I know. I'll do what Jesus would do. You don't have to go, you know. No, I have to go. Sam needs me. Ashley Turner smells like liverwurst. <laughs> mm. I am so proud of you. Mm. You're gonna have a great day. Good dog. All right. Good dog. Stay. 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 Let's go. Spits on me or something? No, you knucklehead. He has cancer, not cooties. Samantha, we don't call people names. No, Alex, cancer is not contagious. Well, Tyler's been through a lot. He's he's missed over two months of school. He's he's probably gonna be a little scared at first, so let's all welcome him back to class with big smiles and hugs and kind words, Alex. That's possible. Whatever. Okay, well, while we're waiting for him to get all signed in, everybody put away your notebooks and let's get ready for lunch. Mrs. Darty, we were just getting ready to go to lunch. Okay, class, line up. Line leaders, everybody line up behind Amy. We are so glad to see Tyler. Oh, thank you. Is there anything I should look out for? Um, no. Oh, um, you know what? He might get tired. If he does, just call me. I'll come right back and pick him okay. up. Okay. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. Oh, oh, you know what? He still has a central medicine line, so just make sure he doesn't get submerged in water or anything. <laughs> Sorry, that's silly. <laughs> you can stay if you'd like. No, 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 I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. 
I'm going back so they can give me medicine from my bag for a few days every month. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel sick. They do that for a while. Then they get my cells back and then I'm done. Did they call you Baldy? Hmm. Is that why you wear that funny hat? I'm warning you, Alex. Whatever. Bet that radiation stuff hurts, huh? Especially on a little wimp like you. Yeah. They made me lay real still, like, for five minutes a day, while this big machine points at my head and my back. That's it? Is that it? Is that it? No. There's a big laser beam, like in Star Wars, that shoots down and kills all the cancer cells. Right, Ty? Well, yeah, I guess. Told you. So, does that make you sick? Not a six-year liver worse makes me. <laughs> well, not too sick. But I heard my doctor tell my mom that I probably won't grow like I'm supposed to because of it. <laughs> so, you're gonna stay looking like an alien? That's it! <laughs> Dear God, my first day back at school is very exciting. I forgot to tell Sam to do what Jesus would do. We all ended up in the principal's office to sort things out. My mom came for me and Sam. I'm not sure who she was more worried about. On the way home, mom tried to be very firm. But when Sam told her how mashed potatoes were stuck up Alex's nose, she laughed and laughed. Now, I know you're getting my letters. Because only you could figure out a way to make her laugh. We got home just when the mailman was at her house. I guess all the excitement got to me because I threw up on his shoes. My mom couldn't believe it. All she could do was laugh. All in all, God, it was a very good day. Oh, how, how, was, how was my day? Well, uh, let's see, I almost got eaten by a horse. Some old man tried to chase me off his porch with a cane. Oh, and, then, and then a kid barfed on my shoes. That's what smells. Boss, we've already had four complaints in one day, which is very good. Might be a post office record. Good job. Four is not so bad. Oh, and one possible lawsuit. You know a guy by the name of Cornelius Perryfield? God. Letters to God. These are from the kid who threw up on my shoes. What am I supposed to do with these? Hey, it's your journey, Brady. You decide. You know, if you'd been here on time, there'd been a dead letter bin about right here. But uh, since it's well after 6 o'clock, uh, they've moved that bin over to the warehouse. So you might want to just gather your little letters and walk them over. Thank you so much. Ready. Ready, Jack. Ready. Isn't that what you say? Ready, you're steady? Well, I'm ready. Yeah, you got enough. <laughs> All right. I'll just take my business elsewhere. You are a royal pain anyway. Brady. Brady. Give me your keys and pull you one more. I don't, I don't see you taking anyone else's keys around here. I don't see anybody else staggering around. Or you can stay or you can go, but either way, I'm going to take your keys. Hold these for a moment. What are these? Uh, get on my route. I don't know what to do with it. How are you going to deliver these, man? Doesn't seem right to shred them. I don't know. Letters to God? Maybe you should take them to church with you on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'll do.
Can I help you? Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. A little warning next time. Sir, Mr. Reverend. Please, call me Andy. Andy, sure. And you are? Uh, um, uh, Brady? And I, I was just dropping those off. I wasn't stealing anything, I swear. I'm oh, sorry, that's a bad choice of words. I, 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 just, I just came in just because it's just that I think this, this sick kid on my route is, is writing these letters to God, and, and I thought that you could at least read them, send them a uh, gift basket or something. It's very kind of you, going out of your way to make sure that Tyler's letters are protected. You know him? Oh, yes, yeah. We love that family. They've been members here for quite a while. With all that's happened, it's been difficult for them. But we certainly keep them in our prayers and check on them often. You know, it seems to me that God put these letters in your hands for a reason. So maybe you should hold on to them. No, I, I, I wouldn't. I don't know what to do with them. I, uh... Well, first thing you're going to do is go home and sleep it off. And then... Listen to God. Let God tell you what to do with them. After all, they are written to him. And you know you're always welcome here. It's a great place to find answers. Hey, can I, uh, can I pray for you? No, no, really, that, I'm good, that's not necessary. It's, uh, I, um... it's what I do. Thank you, Lord, for Brady. Thank you for making him caretaker of these letters and for his heart. Your plans are always good. Lord, I believe you have a plan and a purpose in this. Help Brady discover that plan because, Lord, I know you're about to do something wonderful something more wonderful than we can possibly imagine. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Mm. Well, sir, how's it feel to be on a mission for God? Shouldn't you be in school? No. My mom thought I should take it easy today. Is your mom home? No. At work. But my gran is here. Grandma! <sighs> I'm sorry about your shoes yesterday. Nah, it's all right. Cujo down the street pretty much ruined them before you got to him. So. You mean Rooster? Oh, he's a big teddy bear. He just got know what he likes. Rooster. Rooster. What is it, honey? Oh, hello. Uh, Brady McDaniels. I'm filling in for Mr. Finley. Oh, yes. And uh, this is from uh, down the street. Uh... Yeah, that would be Linda Baker. <laughs> she's such a dear. Eight months pregnant and her soldier husband's away, and still she's thinking about other people. Honey, it's time for you to come in now. Can I wait for Sam? She should be home from school any minute. Well, all right, but just don't overdo it. Nice to meet you, young man. Likewise. Um. Here you go. Oh. Here you go. Excuse whoa, me. Whoa, 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 where's the butt? 
tell me everything. Okay, so Alex and I had to write 500 times, I will not fight. But Alex had to write another 500 times, I will not make fun of people. <laughs> people are always gonna make fun of me. Come on, I think I know someone that can help. Okay. Every day? You gotta drink that stuff every day? Barf. Barf yourself, Mr. Darty. Darkness says drink it, I drink it. Like it or not. That explains it. That explains why. I'd be grouchy too. I had to drink that. Grandpa, we need your help. Can't, I'm busy. Grandpa, please. It's big time. Hmm, okay. Make it quick. So, you say they're picking on you at school? Well, one kid really. Alex. Uh, don't let it bother you. They're jealous, that's all. Jealous? Because all my hair fell out, and my eyebrows are almost gone. They're jealous because you've been chosen for the role of your lifetime. You've been handpicked by God. You don't believe me? Well, maybe we better ask Baron Dadushka. Dadushka, are you in there? Dadushka? Dadushka! Good news, Dadushka! He's here! Ooh la la! 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 You're him! You must be the famous Tyler! Why am I the famous one? Because God has chosen you. The strongest, the wisest, the smartest to receive the honor. Honor? Like a gold star at school, Mr. Perryfield? Oh, not Perryfield, Dadushka. And Dadushka mean not that kind of honor. The honor of being chosen as one of God's warriors. Wow. I want to be a warrior. Ah, oh, well. Samantha, I talked to the principal. He said you need a little less warrior and a little more peacemaker. Samantha the peacemaker. It doesn't sound as good as warrior, but I'll give it a try. Okay, good. Now, where was I? I'm a warrior. Ah, yes, you are God's warrior, which means you can ride forth victoriously in truth, humility, and righteousness. Dadushka. Is honored to know you. Now, come here, Tyler. Tyler, come here. Even though you're sick, when people see how strong and brave you are, why, it makes them take a look at their own lives. And so maybe that's why they make fun of you, like Alex. But, Tyler, there is a glorious truth. God is truth, and it's your job, Tyler, to point them toward him. And if they turn to him, they find the truth. Wouldn't that be a wonderful victory? Tyler, do you understand? I think so. Grandpa, I don't. Ah. I don't feel so brave because of... Huh. <sighs> I have an idea. Grandpa, can I see? Samantha, be still. Now you hold still. We're almost done. <laughs> All right. Grandpa, 
Marvel, can I see? Samantha, be patient. How do you feel? They feel great. Good. Now raise them up. All right. Now your right one, <laughs> your left one. <laughs> Finished. We're done. Yes. All right. Just a moment. Fantastic. <laughs> How are they? They're awesome. They're fantastic. They're awesomely fantastic. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> Cool. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, when you get out of here, Tadushka is tired. Thanks, Grandpa. All right. Oh, you're home early. Yep. Made your favorite. That's Ty's favorite. Oh. Well, now, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Yours is carrot cake. Mm-mm. Uh, marble? Nope. Black forest? No. Oh, gosh. Premature senility. I've always been afraid of it. It's okay. I got it. It's all good. Uh, 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 come here. Sit down. Stir. Why don't you tell me what's on your mind? Nothing. Everything. Well, that about covers it. I just feel weird, you know? About Ty, what he's going through. All the attention he gets. I mean, I know that sounds totally stupid and selfish. I just hate that he's sick. Oh, sweetheart, we all hate that he's sick. Sometimes I think it's worse for us than it is for him. So go easy on yourself. I just want normal, Grandma. I mean, do you know how many times I've asked my mom just to take me to get my license? No. Well, you can't count that high. Oh, Ben. I mean, we can't do anything because we don't have any money and Tyler's always sick or he's in the hospital. Well, shall we accept good from God and not trouble? It just seems like all we're getting is trouble. <sighs> ben, should you take the trash to the curb? Honey, we were talking here. Well, that's not gonna get the trash to the curb. Talking doesn't matter to her anymore. I mean, all she does is bark orders. Ben, don't talk to me like that. Okay, then fine. I'll just stop talking altogether because I'm practically invisible anyways. Benjamin! I I'm just sick of all this. I just wish... It's all about Tyler. Benjamin, I am warning you. All of our time, all of our money, everything. I just... I just hate him. Tyler, wait! Maddie, Maddie. let Ben handle honey. Come over here and sit down. Come on, sweetheart. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, sweetie, yes you can. <sighs> he didn't mean it. Are those eyebrows? Uh, yes, they were. <laughs> Go away or I'll jump. No, you won't. How do you know? Well, because it took me a week to get you out here in the first place. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry and that I didn't mean any of those things that I said back there. What do you see when you look at me? Ty, don't be like that. I'm serious. I know you're mad at me because I'm sick. Ty, I'm not mad at you because you're sick. And I don't hate you. I, I guess I just miss you. I miss all the fun times we had, and I guess I'm just afraid that, that we might not have any of those ever again. <laughs> such a dweeb. You're such a toad. <laughs> I want you to write a letter to God. 
I want you to tell him how you feel. I'm sure that he can help you and Mom. Not to sound mean, but Ty, that's really lame. It's not lame. It's my favorite way to talk to God. It's like texting your best friend. You're right. OK. All right. Here's your pad. All right. I'm a warrior, you know. <laughs> a warrior, huh? Well, I think you're going to have to be with those eyebrows. So, uh, was Sam your girlfriend? Yuck! <laughs> no way! Okay, sorry I asked. Well, she's my best, like a boy kind of friend. Mmm, right, enough said. You have any kids? <sighs> I have a boy. Uh, a little bit younger than you. He lives with his mom, though, so I don't, uh, I don't see him much. That's too bad. Yeah. since I got sick. I want to, though. Yeah. Hey, buddy, go uh, wash up for dinner. Hey. Thanks for again. Hey, you quick. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, Brady. I'm Madeline Doherty, but everyone calls me Maddie. Anyway, it's, uh, it's not serious, is it? I mean, he's gonna be okay, right? We hope so. Good. Yeah. He's a good kid. Thank you. Um, Brady, bag. Oh, huh. okay. Do I need that? Yeah. Oops. Um, my, my mail. <laughs> Right. Yes. Uh, here. Sorry. <laughs> Mostly bills anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah. Urgent. Nope. More bills. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, listen, thank you for taking some time with Tyler. I I really appreciate that. Mom, phone! I'm coming! <laughs> okay, we'll see ya. Bye-bye. letter to Alex. Alex? From school? Yeah. Hmm. You see, I just wanted to know that I'm not mad at him and that I can understand why he makes fun of me. Mr. Fairfield said that I'm God's warrior and that I can make him feel things that he doesn't want to feel. But that's good. Because maybe he'll turn to God for the answers. Mr. Perryfield is a very smart man. So, what's up? Well, sweetheart, um, it's time to go back and finish your medicine. Really? Yeah, really.
suspect. We have a minor boy in the backseat, DUI suspect being booked. son was in the back seat. This is different, Brady. I don't... I don't think I can help you out of this one. Brady? 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 You coming in? The game's on. Oh, um... No. Uh, I'll, I'll see you later, Jack. Hey, Brady, w wait up. Well, why don't you and I uh, go walk and talk a little bit? If we sit a while, my mailman's knee is flaring up on me. Oh, sure. sure. You need some water or something? Just sit for a while. <clears throat> you know, you're in the right place if you have something to work out. I'm afraid it's too late for me. Uh, never too late when you put it in his hands. <sighs> yeah, it's just that lately... No. What am I saying? It's not lately. It's been going on for a couple of years. It feels like... It's about everything... I touch. Turns to dust. Everything feels like it, it's slipping through my fingers. I, I can't hold on to anything. Hold out your hands. Come on. Now put them together. Intertwine your fingers. Now nothing can slip through. You know, I think you're right where you're supposed to be. I 
don't know where that is. I say you're right in the palm of God's hand. I'm losing my son. I can't lose him, Mom. I know, honey. It's so hard. Oh. I'll never make it through this. Yes, you will. We all will. I mean, with Patrick, it was so sudden. You know, I didn't... I didn't even have time to react. You know, I just... Moving forward because of the boys. You know, I mean, I've always been the one who tells everyone else to be strong and have faith. Look at me, I'm a mess. Honey, you're the strongest person I know. Mm. And you're a great mom. Mm. You're not alone, dear. God has never left you and he never will. Yeah, I know. Stay strong, Maddie. Trust God, Maddie. Whatever his will, Maddie. We you know what? I don't agree with his will, Mom. I have a little boy in there who's dying. Do you think he cares about God's will? Well, he seems to. He writes letters to him every day. I don't want to hear that, okay? I don't think God cares about any of this. Oh, Maddie, that's so far from the truth. Remember about the mustard seed. God said if I we just wish to... everyone would stop quoting the Bible to me. It's not curing my son. Um, C four. Miss C seven. <laughs> hey Sam, your grandpa wants you home. See you, Ty. See ya. Sorry I have to go back to the hospital, Tyler. Wait, I have something for you. Can you give this to Alex? Alex? You wrote a letter to Alex. Yes, just so he knows I'm not mad. Okay, but if he makes fun of this, I'm gonna punch him. Samantha, you're the- I know. I'm the peacemaker. Ty, here we go. Mom, you may want to hold the line so it warms the cells up. Floor. Just helping out. He's my favorite patient, you know. He's awful cute, isn't he? <laughs> well, your relief is here. Hey, Mom. Oh, are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay. Mm. I'll keep an eye on him. Okay, thank you. A few hours? Take all the time you need. Thank you. Hey.
to choose It's always the bigger things in life That seem to choose you You can say what you want Believe what you will believe Yeah We miss you Tell God he can't have him Just another day to dream. Dear God, I'm writing this only because my brother asked me to. I've lost everything. All the big stuff, like my dad. And now with Ty being sick. I mean, all the normal stuff, like going to concerts and having cookouts. Can't Tyler just get better? I don't think he deserves this. I know mom loves me, but sometimes she just doesn't have the time. I think she wishes it was me sick and not Tyler. Who can blame her? Everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. What? Is it Tyler? Nope. We're going to get your license. What? Yep. Let's go, let's go, I'm a busy woman. I don't know when he'll be back, but I do know he's back in the hospital. But I think it would be nice if we all did something special for Tyler, to let him know that we're thinking about him. Any ideas? John. We could get him a soccer ball. When I have my tonsils out, I got one. That's a good one. Sally? How about making him a card and everyone can sign it? OK. Miss Emily? Yes, Alex? I have an idea. Brady. So it's for the Keep the Soccer ah. Stars. <laughs> hey. Great surprise. Hey. Hi. Kaboom. Huh? Thanks. And I've got two more surprises for you. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweetie, you look so pretty. Thank you. Hi, wow. Tyler. Dear Mr. Dot, it's me, Alex Wheaton. I'm writing you because I made fun of a kid at my school. He has cancer. His name is Tyler. Do you know him? Well, he says you do. Mom. Can I show them the play area? Yeah, of course. I'm feeling bad, and I thought if you told him I was sorry, then that would be really cool. He told me he was going to heaven to be with you if he died. And it got me thinking, what if I died? Will I go to heaven? Here's the thing. I know you have to love God and be sorry for your sins. Pray and open your heart to Jesus. Come on, let's try it. You know, we can all hold hands. Just try it. Come on. I'll pray and you pray in your heart. Got it. Dear God, help Alex find the door in his heart and let you in. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. OK, kids, time to go. I'm not sure about the holding hands part, but the rest of it was pretty cool. Love, Alex. Is everything all right? Well, young man, you are out of here. To be frank with you, this tumor was very aggressive. 
Yeah, I know, but he's finished with chemo. That means he's in remission, right? Loosely. Loosely? What, what does that mean exactly? Well, now the MRI still shows spots on his brain. And? And I'm not sure if these cells are dead or alive or merely scar tissue. We'll just have to keep a close eye. For now, let's focus on the good news. So is Tyler home and well? Tyler, home? I think everyone out here is getting stir crazy. Tyler keeps getting stronger. We should do something fun, like, like a welcome home party for Tyler. Well, how about a costume party? Costume parties are fun. And I win. The days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with the choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means the most to you And if one door opens to another door closes Oh, that's not fair! What? We dressed as nurses! It's cold That's still not fair! Where's Tyler? I see a tall Russian guy <laughs> My wish for you is that this life becomes all oh, that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you and wants to say. This was such a great idea. Mr. Perryfield, it was all him. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask, where did you get the costume? No. Oh, you mean my trusty <laughs> steed? <laughs> Does hmm? he bite? No, he's good. <laughs> I've, I've actually had this for a couple of years. <clears throat> my son just turned three when I came back from Iraq. And my wife, now my ex-wife, she told me that his favorite barnyard animal was it. <laughs> so, so I go out and I buy this outfit thinking I'd be this big hero oh. and I... And you freaked him out. Oh, yeah. You? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't come near me for a week, <laughs> screaming for hours. Um, uh, how's Ben dealing with all this? Ben is 16. We'll just wait till tomorrow. He's just been through so much these past few years, you know, with his father passing and Tyler's cancer. It's, it's just been way too much. And I, I was making it worse. I'm pretty good at making things worse myself. what turned it around. It took 
Ben's letter to God to show me what I wasn't seeing. Is that what I think it is? I think that's what you think it is. Okay. Uh, now, you, you know how to deliver babies, right? Because I, mean, I only deliver mail, and, and I'm, I'm just getting the hang of it. Okay, let's go time. Okay, let's go time. Uh, All right, come on. Stay calm, everyone. Let's get her to the All right, go calm. Of course, very calm. Very calm. Very calm. I'll call your mother. And, uh, well, we'll be praying. We'll be praying. <laughs> oh. Thanks for a great party. <laughs> Mom? Mm -hmm. That was very fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to put those eyebrows in your treasure box? No. I'd rather wear them. They're my warrior brows. <laughs> okay, then. Mm, I love you. You sleep, okay? Mom? Mm? Do you think that Mrs. Baker's baby was born to replace me? Sweetie... Why in the world would you think something like that? Well, Alex told me that as she turned her sister told her that somebody dies, somebody's born to replace them. Tyler, I don't really think it works that way. But Ashley's and her sister is 13. Oh, she's 13. Well, <laughs> well, with all due respect to Ashley Turner's sister, only God knows for sure how these things work. Well, if Ashley Turner's sister is right, I would want Mrs. Baker's baby to replace me. He's very cute. Nobody could replace you. Mom? Hmm? You know that God picked you. What? Yeah. He picked you to be my mom. McDaniels gets the save. Amazing. How are you doing, guys? Hey, Tyler. Oh. It's Coach Dave. Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah. Really? Well, okay, just, just hold on a second, okay? Mom. Mm -hmm. Coach Dave wants to know. He called to see if I can play in the game next week. Oh. Tyler, honey, I don't think you're strong enough, sweetie. But I am. I am. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think he's strong enough. Yeah. See? Right. Well, what's, what's the worst going to happen? He gets tired and he has to sit down. See? 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 Oh, honey, you know what? I just don't, I really just don't think it's a good idea. Please. 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 Okay, we'll compromise. Tyler will dress up. And only if he's feeling really up to it, then he'll play a little. And and if he's not feeling so hot, then then, then he can help, help coach. Come on, Maddie. You gotta let him play. He's a natural. <laughs> okay. Okay. Put me in. Oh, 
Hi, are, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I've only played four minutes in the game. Look, we are one ahead with two minutes to go. Okay, you've got to stop everything. Substitution! Hey, hey! Be careful. Get him. Don't tell me that. him to play. How could you do this? No, please just leave. Just get out of here, please. <laughs> in this bottle At least not one that I care to hear Why do I need to see the bottom Before I want to come up Start again. 
God, I feel yucky today, but Sam really wants to climb trees. I already threw up three times this morning. Sam's gonna need another friend, you know. And God, please help me to tell Ben that I broke his guitar string. I didn't want to tell him, but I think he knows. Help Ben forgive me. He's the best brother in the whole world. Do you think you can find somebody for my mom? She's been so lonely since dad went to heaven. Could you send someone that can make her happy? I know it must be hard on Mrs. Baker, because babies cry a lot. She misses her husband too, but she still finds time to make us stuff. Don't tell mom. But Mrs. Baker's fried chicken is way better. I think I'll be seeing you soon. I'm not feeling better like I used to. Before I die, can you help my friend Mr. Brady? He's so cool, and he has a boy. But I don't think they see each other. Could you tell Mr. Brady's heart it's going to be okay. Take me down to the water's edge. In your deepest ocean, I can learn to love again. I'll be washed clean beneath the waves and start again. Start. We'll start. Sam's here. Hey, Sam. I want to show you something. We have them made. Blue for your favorite color and gold for other kids who have cancer. We even say belief. I love them. Thank you, sweetheart. Mmm, you're such a good girl. <laughs> I wrote a letter to God. It's about you. I didn't know what poster to put on, so... Krampus said I can come over here and ask. I just put one stamp on. That seems to work. I'm, I'm watching cartoons. I like cartoons.
so sorry. No, 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 no. No. Um, <clears throat> I just want you to know that Finley is going to be taking back his route. I feel really lucky to have gotten to know your family. Did Tyler ever... I'm, I'm going to show you something. Come on. Gonna hold it. You got it. All right. You can see everything from up here. You feel closer to God. I understand now that he wasn't just writing letters. He was praying. Brady, um, I was wrong to treat you that way, and I'm sorry that I took it out on you. Don't, don't give that another thought. You know, I, I should be apologizing to you. Got something for you. I think he'd want you to read it. I can't read this right now. Okay, just hold on to it. We just need to be a normal family again, you know? No more hospitals, no more IVs, no more sickness. We just need to laugh again. Like old times. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's talent show at Give Kids the World will be hosted by Whitley Phipps. Hey, Tyler. Hi, Ben. Hi, Miss Pamela. Another hot fudge breakfast? Yeah. 30 in a row, and I'm going to have been in the sports for lunch. Sounds great. Oh. Mm. I need you to mail this. Oh, I'll take care of that. Wow, this doesn't seem like an ordinary letter. I might have to find a special mailbox to put it in. No, any mailbox works. Oh, okay. Are y'all coming to the talent show tonight? Yeah, Ben's singing. What? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> he definitely is. No, I'm not. Have fun. Yes, I am are. not singing in front of all those people. Stop it, yes, you are. Now, everyone, everyone, I want you to welcome to the Give Kids the World stage Tyler Doherty and his brother Ben. <laughs> Tyler, we're so very proud of you. God bless you. Thank you. My brother Ben has been working on this song for a while. I hope you enjoy it. Sometimes we're broken and we don't know why When I'm tired and I lose my way You help me find faith, oh You give me hope in spite of everything 
thing You show me love Even with so much pain So I'll take this life And live like I Was given another try Just give me another try You give me hope In spite of everything You show me love even with so much pain I'll take this life And live like I Was given another try That was Awesome, guys. You did a really great job. Hey, hey. Hi, um, hi, uh, thanks. Hi, buddy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Hi, Maddie. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not very good at this stuff. Um, my name is, is, is Brady McDaniels, and, and um, I've, been, I've been Tyler's mailman for the last couple of months. I, I just want to tell you, what, 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 a, what a gift Tyler's been to, to, to me and, and to everyone he's touched with, with, with his letters to God. I, I read a bunch of them. I'm not sure if I was supposed to, but uh, I think I was. Because I, I see now that there's more to this life than I could see. He, he gave me hope that, that someone like me could actually feel faith in something, you know, faith in God. Now these, these are all, all letters to God. Did this, this bag here, did this, this is from this is from your school. Hundreds of letters to God. You did this, Tyler. You not only helped me, but you helped, helped all of these people find, find the truth. Dear Heavenly Father, you sure knew what you were doing when you picked my daughter to be Tyler's mother. Thank you for giving us all a glimpse of eternity through his life. Dear God, it took Tyler's faith and his letters to convince me to believe in you. Thank you for giving your son and for giving me back mine. Dear God, Tyler was the best friend ever. I didn't get to tell him, but when we prayed with Alex, I asked you to come into my heart too. 
I know now that I have everlasting life. Safety starts here. We need safety coffee, training dude. courses. I'm concerned about your coffee in here. Hey, 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 Simmons. Handle with care. Thank you. I'm telling you. See? God. Letters to God. What am I supposed to do with these? I'll take care of this one. Thanks. Right. I gotta go. Good luck. Follow me. Okay, so we got systems and protocols and processes already set in place. I, I got it all mapped out. I dedicate this mailbox to my best friend, Tyler Doherty. He taught us a true meaning of faith, and his life is a letter to God. Dear God, I think we did it. You told me not to be afraid, and I wasn't. I just want everybody to believe. Love, Tyler. Dear Mr. God, I'm writing you today. Cause it seems like lately I've forgotten how to pray. I know I don't need this pen. But everybody likes to get a letter now and then. I'm sorry for it. I write more Cause I need you But it's hard to see Why anyone as big as you Needs anything from me You know you're there So how you been I'm alright but I can't lie Sometimes I feel like giving in You're Sometimes I wish you lived next door So over coffee you could tell me What you started all this for I guess you saw that sunrise yesterday Thanks for the reminder That you've never gone away It gives me hope Telling me what you already But it's hard to see why anyone as big as you needs anything from me. You know you're there. So how you been? I'm alright, but I can't lie. Sometimes I feel like giving in. Mr. God, tell me, do you ever cry when we forget to thank you for the good things in our lives? I know I can't always understand why you do the things you do, but I know in the end I'll make it through. If I stand next to you, so here I am Dear Mr. God I'm writing you today Cause it seems like lately I've forgotten how to pray Everything comes down to love Then just what am I afraid of When I call out your name Something 
something inside awakes in my soul how quickly i forget i'm yours i'm not my own i've been carried by you all my life everything rides on Everything rides on
Resting Jewel.